Hello everybody, this is Jaren from MarineAndReef.com. Today here we are in front of my desk. We're gonna set up a new desk tank here in the office. The plan is to make this a shrimp aquarium for small ornamental freshwater shrimp. The tank we have here is the Lifeguard all-in-one crystal tank. These tanks are really cool. This one here is the small 4.1 gallon tank. It has the really nice mitered corners, the low iron glass, and my favorite feature, the built-in back filtration compartment. This is gonna help the setup look really clean once we've added everything we want to to the tank. Inside this tank, we got the Lifeguard Serpentine Rock Structure. This is the smallest one. The rock structure itself is available for $99.60, just under $100. The tank is available for $60.80, and the light is $29.95. This is the Aquion Clip-On Planted Light. That's all the equipment we're gonna use, and we'll get right to aquascaping the tank, adding our substrate and their plants. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is add substrate to this aquarium. We've selected the fluorite black sand. The reason we selected this is we really do, did want to do some kind of planted substrate that's actually porous, allows nutrients to get to plant roots. There's fl fluorite in both a gravel and a sand variant. We like the sand because it doesn't have as big of a particle and it'll make the shrimp appear bigger in the tank overall. To help us put the substrate into the tank, we're gonna use this funnel, little scoop, and we're gonna pour it around the rock structure. This is to anchor it in place and stop it from shaking around as you put it on in. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding plans to this aquarium. We have two plants here to start, a little bit of Anubis and a little bit of Rickia moss. Now Anubis likes to grow on hard structures and rock work. We're gonna use a little bit of plant scissors to cut this up into some smaller portions. That'll make it easier to add to the rock work. If you don't have plant scissors, you can just rip it on up, but plant scissors are really a very useful tool for this purpose to give you clean cuts and that precision work of cutting at the roots versus ripping up the leaves. Now that we have our little Anubis pieces separated, we're gonna use a pair of tweezers and some flourish glue to stick them onto the rock. Anubis is a plant that grows on rock work. So we're gonna go ahead and use the tweezers to hold the plant, flip it over, I'm gonna do it over the tank in case something drips. Put a little bit of glue gel on there. Um, I tend to be pretty generous because I hate having to go back and redo it. And from there, I'm gonna go onto the rock work where we want it. Now that we've finished with our Anubis, we're gonna do the same thing with our moss. Again, taking our plant scissors, breaking it up into little portions. You can break it up a little bit with your fingers, but again, it's much more precise to use the plant scissors. Clip it on up. Once you've clipped this into small portions, we're gonna glue it to the tree just like we did the Anubis. And that'll give it a real life tree effect where the moss looks like the leaves. Now that the aquarium is planted, we're gonna go ahead and add water to the tank. We're going to use RO water. It's really the best option for a planted aquarium. We're not gonna add any additives to it because the rock structure we've added here actually has a little bit of hardness that the plants want. We're gonna to try to pour the water onto the rock structure itself so that it doesn't disturb the substrate below. Disturbing the substrate is fine. It's just really annoying because it causes extra cloudiness. No matter what, we're gonna get some cloudiness, but we do wanna keep it to a minimum. We've gone ahead and filled the tank with water and we have the main pump running. You may notice the tank is very cloudy. This is perfectly normal for a new tank. There's lots of little particles in the substrate and on the decorations itself. These tend to go away after a few days. If you wanna speed it up, you can do a series of small water changes just to remove those particles. We already have added a little magnet cleaner. This is the Two Little Fishies Nano Mac. It can help keep leaves from sticking on the glass. It's pretty easy to run it right on through. You may also notice just little bits of particles of plants up near the surface. I personally just like to remove these from the tank. A little fishnet comes in ham handy just to skim them off. 
Once the tank is clarified, we'll be able to get a much better idea of what things are gonna look like. And then in about a week or so, we can move on to adding some fish or a few basic shrimp to the tank, get things going. So to recap and summarize why we did what we did, we decided to first plant the tank while the aquarium was dry. We do this because it's much easier to work inside the tank. You don't have to worry about being wet and water getting everywhere. We like to plant the tank very heavy up front, and that's because in a lot of planted aquariums, we add a nutrient-rich substrate. This has lots of ammonia, nitrite, nitrate. We usually think of those as bad things, but plants really like them. They're great fertilizers. So if you put those nutrients in without anything to suck it up, very often leads to a big algae bloom at first. This is a good reason why it's a good idea to buy a lot of plants up front, really fill the tank up immediately. This is also why we don't add fish or shrimp right away. Those high levels of nutrients are really good for the plants, but they're not so good for the fish. They can be toxic. And that's the reason why we're gonna let this rest for a little bit, let the plants start sucking those levels down. We'll test the water. Once you see those nutrient levels are down, you know everything is safe to add the fish and shrimp in, and then we'll go ahead and proceed to there.